What's up guys, thanks for stopping by. Odds are, if you're on this video, you're ready to take a look at the brand new Omada Golf two-step folding push cart. Or you've already purchased one and you're looking to get some helpful tips on how to use your brand new push cart. Either way, throughout this video, we're gonna be taking an in-depth look at everything that the Trilite has to offer and more. So one of the best parts about the Trilite is the two-step folding locking mechanism that make this thing so easy and convenient to pull in and out of the car. The first step is you're gonna unlock right here this first lock and there's actually one back here on the cart you're going to open that or pull that lever up and expand the cart you, then you're going to lock this the same exact locks that you opened up to get the cart expanded you're then going to, to lock so it's just one and two and now the cart is completely secured it's not going anywhere there's actually a resting foot pad here that you can put your foot on pull up and then it stays in place as you expand the cart. And just as a precaution, when you put the, the cart back to folded from standing, you wanna make sure that you lock one and then two locks so that when you lift up the car, the cart, it doesn't go anywhere. And as you can see, I can lift this thing up pretty easy. One of the, one of the most amazing things about this car is it's made of aircraft grade aluminum. So it's actually extremely light, even compared to some of the other carts out there. It, it weighs only 14 pounds. So for the most part, most people won't have an issue getting in and out of a car. Um, but if you do, again, these little features here make it really easy, again, just to show you to open the cart. Once the cart is open, for reference, this piece right here, it's literally a brake. So all I have to do is switch it on like that. And as soon as I start to push, you're gonna see that click in. And now, now the car is locked. Now, even when you put the bag on, sometimes it's nice to even just kick the brake on to make sure that everything is good. It's not gonna roll away on you and it's secure as I put the bag on. What you're gonna do is take the bag. Now, typically these straps won't be connected but in the, in the event that they are, disconnect these straps right here. So if they're like this, you're just gonna lay, make sure it's unlooped. These are actually movable, so you can make sure it's nice, wide and open for you to put the bag on. You're gonna grab the bag, and as simply as it is, fit it right on. Now you wanna make sure it's not on the wheel, so um, you might need to just kind of shimmy it on. You can actually see down there where you are, but it goes right there, and then all that's left is strapping the bag up. All it is, is grabbing around. You can go through the handle or under the handle, I should say, or you can go above right over the bag. And now it's locked. There are two straps, one at the top, one at the bottom. And then you're gonna take this right here. Same thing, completely locked up. And now the push cart is ready to go. Another amazing feature on the Trilite is this incredibly deep storage container. So. This is a magnetized lid, makes for easy going in and out when you're trying to get to your accessories or anything you're trying to do. And when you open it up, you can actually extend it if the bag is not in all the way. So as you can see, this container, and we're gonna show you just right now how deep it really is and how much you can fit. It's not made of hard plastic. It's a, it's a very durable material that sits inside and is expandable so you can fit just about anything you would think you would need. Up here, we have four T slots in case you wanna keep your T's at the ready, just a couple on hand so that if you, you know, you're in a pinch, you have at least some access to them. This is the scorecard holder. It's very simple. You're just gonna put your pencil right up here and we'll show you that now. Your scorecard's gonna go right underneath and then you know, basically that's your front console. So one of the biggest things obviously for the Trilite is the amount of storage it has available to the user. So on the back side, you actually have two separate uh, mesh pouches that allow you to, be, you can fit quite a bit. It's great room for a cell phone or maybe a speaker or something small that you want to fit in the back, um, water bottles, etc. But it's just that little extra step that allows you to take more stuff onto the course so that you're always prepared out there in whatever conditions. And just as a maintenance tip, if you're on the course and your trilight is not pushing directly straight, it's probably because this is actually an adjustable front wheel. And so what you can do is as simply as this, take a screwdriver, follow this quick guide and adjust the, the wheel until it's straight. It's that simple. On the side, we have 
the uh, detachable cup holder. Because it's a gravity holder, so essentially if I go up a hill right now, if I were to be going up a hill with the weight of the cup, it'll stay stabilized to the ground so that you don't spill your drink. If for whatever reason you need to pull it off, it won't come off on the top like this. What you're gonna have to do is actually bring it to the side and then it'll come off. One of my favorite features on the Trilight is of course the umbrella holder. There are those days that of course are rainy and, and you're on the course and you, you get caught in it or you wanna play in the rain maybe or whatever it may be. But there's also those days that are super hot. And so our umbrellas that we sell actually are, U, are spot UV protection. There are two umbrella holders. The first one is a fitted umbrella holder for our umbrella that we sell. It's pretty simple on how it attaches. Basically there are these ridges on the umbrella holder that hold it in place once you uh, secure it in and then there's one bolt on the outside. You're, you're gonna take this bolt, put it through, and then you're actually gonna screw it in place and just fasten it to where the umbrella holder is. Just like that. You're gonna take the umbrella, you're gonna open it up, and then it's actually gonna go right in the slot, and this piece right here is what's gonna hold it down in the event that there's some wind out there on the course. You're gonna wrap it around and you're just gonna put it right underneath and now that umbrella is, is secure in there. Now you can actually adjust the motion. So if, it's too, if it was too far up or you want it to be far up, maybe it's a super windy day, you can actually put it right out in front. If you wanted to get some wind out of your face, you can put it frontal view or you can actually bring it right back um, right to the top position. You can also bring it sideways if you want, maybe the sun's over on this side of you and you wanna block it out coming from that angle. This gives you really good flexibility when that sun is coming right in, super beating hard from a direction that's maybe not covered by the overhead position. So it's as simple as just loosening these bolts here and just moving and then resecuring. So we're gonna jump into the wide umbrella holder that we, that we offer. Uh, this thing's really cool because if you have an umbrella at home that you want to use, you can actually secure pretty much any size that's a straight shot down. Um, and it basically makes it so that you, know, you don't have to pick up an extra umbrella if you already have one. So it hooks up the same way as the other one. You're basically going to just put the screw in, fasten it to the mount. Now that it's fastened to the cart, we're just going to stick. This, this is our umbrella. You can use uh, whatever one fits at home. Basically, you're gonna slide it in, and once it's in, you actually have a clamp here that's gonna allow you to secure any umbrella that you put in here that fits within the umbrella holder. This one is a pretty thin handle. That's why we made it so wide, but as you can see, it's not going anywhere. Now it's secured in, and uh, it's a great feature if you have an umbrella at home that you wanna use. Just one quick tip, same as the other umbrella holder, you actually can have, you can maneuver it, um, it's clamped in there, so it's not, it's not coming out. Um, so you can basically put it frontal, back, whatever you want. And uh, you can have a windshield in front, basically a, same way. I would put it out here like this. And uh, it makes for a fantastic, I mean, it, it's a great feature to have. I love the maneuverability of it because it allows you to basically pinpoint where the sun or the wind is coming from and uh, move the umbrella accordingly. And again, it's clamped in there, so it, I mean, it's pretty secure. The best thing about this thing is that not only can you change the position, but the ribbed fastener allows you to basically secure this thing, no matter how high the wind gusts are, no matter what angle you, you put this thing at, it's not going anywhere. One of my favorite features of the Trilight, for sure. We're gonna jump into the, the Trilight carry bag. Uh, we sell this accessory separately, but let me tell you something, this thing is awesome. Why? Because when you take your cart and you put it in and out of the car, the truth is, is that you can carry in some, some pretty yucky stuff that you don't wanna get in your car. You don't wanna deal with it on a wet day. It happens, grass gets wet, it just is what it is. This thing is gonna keep your car clean and your tri light safe. So it's a super durable bag. You're just gonna zip, unzipper it, just like this. You can see that the bag is shaped to the tri light. So it goes in, wheels to the back, and then uh, frame to the front. So when I pull it out, it's basically gonna come right out and boom, there's your tri-light. So you can see it's kind of like a, it's kind of shaped a little weird. You can tell that the wider side of the bag 
is exactly where the wheels are gonna go. So when you put it in, you wanna make sure that the wheels are going in first. And that way when you uh, put the bag up, it fits in place. And then it's just a matter of zipping up the bag. You have a, a strap here that allows you to put it in and you can secure it via Velcro. So when I, when I secure it like that, now I can carry. And it's really, I mean, the trilight is pretty light, so you can pretty much walk it around like that. We've been testing the trilight for well over a year now. We've taken it through its paces. We've, we've brought it through every major condition we could find. We are from New England. So that's mud, cold, sticks, stones, everything. Uh, push this thing to its limits. So the car we're about to show you has well over a year of use on it and it's held up under the elements. But we have some tips that we'd like to share with you that may help in keeping your trilight functional for as long as possible. So normally there's a little plate that goes right here. We've popped it off for the purpose of this video. There are screws that all over the trilight that basically hold it together. And if you use the cart for over a long period of time, it's possible, it's not everybody's experience, but it's possible that some of these screws may loosen uh, over, over time and through rigorous use. So what all you really have to do is just find the ones that are loose. It's just a normal Phillips head screwdriver and just give a little tighten to make sure that the frame is nice and tight and taken care of. Guys, if you like the product, be sure to visit us at omadagolf.com. The product is on sale today, and we believe in it so much that we're offering free shipping, free 15-day returns from the date of delivery, and then on top of it, we also are including a one-year warranty to make sure that you have the best experience you can possibly have with the Trilight push cart. If you have any questions, be sure to reach out to us. Our contact information and hours of operation are up on our website, omadagolf.com. We're happy to answer any questions you might have, and we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one.